Miss Wilson Raybo did a, presented herself very well at committee. She said things truthfully and honestly and forthrightly. I'm very proud to be in the, a Liberal member with her. I just did a video uh, with the Minister of Innovation and Science. He just did an announcement here at Cisco in Calgary. But Kent Hare, the Member of Parliament for Calgary Centre, he was at the announcement too. So I'm going to actually go back inside and see if I can get him to answer some questions about the lab scam as well. Kent, can you tell us, do you believe that Jody Wilson-Raybould told the truth? Well, of course, Miss Wilson-Raybould did. She did her best. She came into the Ethics Commissioner or to the committee and of course she she did she referred to things to uh, the best of her ability but so can you tell can you no see man yeah, it's, it's been not a while. Been since university can you can you tell me it's been forever and a day all right i see that you're trying to interrupt me interviewing a member of parliament vincent st pierre but i'll just keep asking the member questions in a day man i'll keep asking the minister questions or the member sorry he's not a minister kent can you tell me can you tell me why it's so hard for Liberals to take women when they say no? Kent, can you tell me why it's so hard for Liberals to accept when women say no? I think Mr. Excuse me, sorry, Raybo I'm did an excellent. This, did excellent that is complete. He doesn't want to answer the question. It's quite no, clear I'm that they don't have an answer. Any, is there anything else you'd like to add about the lab scam? Excuse me. No. Okay. All right. No. We'll we'll publish this as is. If you don't want to comment. Miss Wilson Raybo did a, presented herself very well at committee. She said things truthfully and honestly and forthrightly. I'm very proud to be in the, a Liberal member with her. I just got back to the studio from that announcement at Cisco, and I've been able to pick apart uh, that brief interview there with uh, Kent Hare, the member of Parliament for Calgary Centre, the Liberal member of Parliament. Uh, even though my old friend Vincent St. Pierre tried to throw himself between me and the member of Parliament, uh, like a loyal soldier, I was still able to ask him a few questions. Uh, I asked him if he thought Jody Wilson-Raybould told the truth. He said, surprisingly, that he believes her. He said that Jody Wilson-Raybould did tell the truth. Uh, then I asked him uh, another question. I asked why it's so hard for liberals like them to take women at face value when they say no. His answer was a little bit more convoluted there, but what he did say at the end, uh, and let's throw back to that quickly and I'll talk about it. Miss Wilson Raybould did a, presented herself very well at committee. She said things truthfully and honestly and forthrightly. I'm very proud to be in the, a Liberal member with her. Now, right there, what he just said is very important. It's certainly not PMO talking points that Kent Harris parroting. He said he's proud to be a Liberal member of Parliament with Jody Wilson Raybould. Uh, you know, I think Kent Hare might be looking at his electoral chances here coming in October in Calgary Centre, realizing that there is no way he and his staff are going to keep their jobs if Justin Trudeau remains leader of the Liberal Party. I think we might be seeing the early signs of uh, of a caucus revolt, honestly. If, if even Kent Hare is saying things like this so far from what the PMO is hoping that their caucus parrots, uh, I think that Justin Trudeau has some tough times ahead. For the Rebel.media, this is Key Invest. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed our coverage. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. You know the drill.